I recently watched the old Amityville horror movie for the first time. It's from the 70s. I can't really be bothered to check what exact year it is right now. My point is, at one point in this movie, and this is not a spoiler for those who have not watched it, at one point a character mentions as something negative that something that has occurred in a certain place is devil worship, death, and sacrifice. Now, let's tackle the middle one, to quote the Kevin Klein movie. Let's go with that one first. Death. Death has happened in this place. Yes, death has probably happened pretty much everywhere you go in this world, on this entire planet. Someone or something has died there at some point, or will at some point. Death is a natural part of life. It's the last part, in case you weren't entirely clear on that, but it is a part of life. It is a natural part of life. Nothing lives forever. In spite of the fact that a lot of people wish to believe otherwise. So let's go to sacrifice. That one, granted, sacrifice, as long as we're talking the sacrifice of someone as in they will die, as in not just, you know, you're leaving some fruit or some of your harvest out for the god to pick up, you know, or for Santa Claus, whatever. Yes, the sacrifice of life, that is indeed a bad thing. I will completely agree with that. And I will grant that the monotheistic religions, the sons of Abraham, related to Abraham, related to the story of Abraham, they do not sacrifice humans, specifically because of the whole, the whole Abraham story with his son and God saying at the very last moment, no, I don't want you to sacrifice your son. Granted, sacrifice, okay, but then we have devil worship. Now, if you just take away the word devil, then you're just left with worship. And worship is actually something that religious people consider to be quite a good thing. They only have a problem with it when the worship is of something that they do not agree with. And that is really the key here. Because whether you worship the devil or some deity or an alien, regardless of what you're worshipping, as long as you have a problem with what other people worship, there are going to be those that you consider to be doing something awful simply because what they are worshipping is not what you are worshipping. If you pick two different Christians, two Christians that believe in God in very different ways, you could argue that they are worshipping two different gods. And we wouldn't even necessarily have to go to the lengths of, let's say, Protestant and Catholic Christians. No, just the various types of Protestant Christians. Several of those have very different ideas about what exactly God is like and what he has told his Christian followers to do. So, really, the moment you say that this is the only right way to worship, this is the only right object of worship, then every other faith, every single other worshiper Every worshipper that has a different object than the one you have chosen is now an enemy of you, and only because you have chosen to make the worship limited to what you deem worthy of worship. Now, I am an atheist, in case you hadn't already guessed that. I have no problem with anyone worshipping. I don't care if you worship a deity a turnip, or whatever. 
to have a problem with worshipping. I mean, granted, there are maybe others, but often it is someone who worships who has a problem with someone else worshipping. And the issue is not the worship, it's the object of the worship. It's because you're saying there's only the one right way to do this. And that is one of the issues that you get into with religion that instantly makes you a lot of enemies for no good reason.